All right, so today I'm going to be talking about the new find last and find last index methods. So we had quite a while ago, find and find index were added to the array object as methods that we could call. So both of them will call a function, loop through all the elements in your array to locate something that's in there. Now, includes and the index of method, those have been around for a while. Those methods, you pass in a value. So you pass a primitive value and it will compare each of the items in your array to that primitive value. So if you have an array of strings or numbers, great, it's gonna work fine. But if you've got objects or other arrays nested inside of here, you're not gonna be able to compare the value because the, these things are gonna be converted into strings and then compared. So that's not gonna work. What we need are methods like find and find index, where you pass a function and this method will call that function once for each item in your array to see if what's there actually matches. The new methods I'm going to be talking about in a moment, find last and find last index, were just recently added in node version 18. So if we take a look in here, that is right now, as of today, that's sort of the recommended version, the long-term support 18.12.1. This is where support for these methods in Node was added. Um, when it comes to these ones, it was way back in version 4.9. If you ever want to check and see what is supported in Node, if you go to the website node.green, and if we look inside here, find last, find and last index, you can see it's just these last three versions, 18.12, 19.1 and the brand new one that's under development 20.0 these are the only ones that support this method so it's sort of the same thing it's been fairly recent in the browsers that support's been added to all right so we have an array of objects we want to look through these and locate a match for our best friend bubbles so you can see all the name properties inside of here one of them matches we need to find this one so the find method, we're going to call our function right here, find a friend. And if I do this, if I say, okay, let n equal, my array is called names. I'm going to call the find method and it's going to call the find a friend function. If I can spell friend, there we go. So we're going to call this function right here once for each item in the array and this needs to return true or false. This is expecting a true or false. It'll keep looping until it finds a true. So inside of here, we're going to say, okay, let's console log index. So that's our position, how many times we've looped, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And to return the true or false, all we need to do is take the object that's being passed in. So find is calling this and it's passing in the first time. It's going to pass in this one then it's going to pass in this, then it's going to pass in this, and so on down the chain. If obj, that's the object, dot name, the name property, if that is equal to whatever the value of our best friend is, I'm going to return true. And if it doesn't, we go to the next line, functions automatically return undefined, which is a falsy value. Okay, so that's going to work. And if I console.log n, I should get bubbles, or sorry, the object containing bubbles. I should get this. So let's run it. So we'll say node main.js. There we go, we can see it looped eight times and gave us back this. So that's the find method. The find index, almost the same thing, but instead of returning the object itself, right here, like this one did, like find did, it's going to return the number, what position, what was the index number where it was found. So we run this, there we go, bubbles, and seven. So we looped eight times, then we looped eight times again. So this was eight, and this was eight. So it works. It looped through, it found the thing we were looking for. So why do we need find last, find last index? Because sometimes you're going to know that Hey, if I started at the end of the array and started looping backwards, chances are really good that I'm going to find what I'm looking for faster. So instead of find, we're going to call find last. Instead of find index, we're going to say 
call find last index. So let's clear this and we'll run it again. There we go. Position eight, then position seven, and then it was found. Eight and then seven, and it was found. And there's our results. We're getting the exact same results, but we're getting it a lot faster. It didn't have to loop as many times because we knew that bubbles is probably later on in the array. So we're going to start at the end and move forward. And that's it. That's how all four of these work. All four of them have a function. They're not just waiting for you to give it a primitive that it can compare to a primitive inside of here. You need a function because you're going to look at potentially objects or arrays that are nested inside there. All right, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.